Hello again, folks, and here's some more Bane matches, which I really like Bane. He got a buff recently in the Batgirl patch, and this is me playing on it, so you might be able to tell. Now, he got four things. I can't remember them all. First one was normalised throw damage, which is a bit there, there. Um, the other one I can't remember, so it can't have been too important, but the main ones, which are really cool, are reduced cooldown on his level 2 and 3 Venom from 6 seconds to 4.5 on his level 2, and his level 3 from 9 to 6, which is really good. So that just helps a lot, in fact. There is a couple more things which I'd like. This Solomon Grundy seems to be trying to zone me, which is not a very good thing. I'm always aware of it, because um, it's a big deal against Solomon Grundy, and it's rather slow, so you can basically just wait it out until he does it and then dash forward one. And he's using that EX on that grab, which I think all it does is add armor so he can take a hit. When he does it, it doesn't actually make it unblockable, which is what it says it does, because it already is unblockable. So I'm trying to go for a stage transition. I've completely forgot what I was saying. I was saying, okay. Oh, I'd like them to fix inconsistencies with his level 3 Venom. Now, when he puts level 3 on, he becomes immune to projectiles. Now, I wouldn't mind if someone could give me a really good reason, then I'd be happy, but there is some inconsistencies which is a bit annoying. For example, he's immune to all of Deathstroke's guns when he's got level 3 Venom. Okay, so he can run through as many shots, providing it's not that explosion one at the end, I think. But he can't go through Green Lantern's machine gun shots. For some reason, he's completely not invulnerable to them like he is Deathstroke's gunshots. And in fact, he takes the armor hit and then he gets hit out of it because it's multiple hit and move. But so is um, Deathstroke's guns. It's just that they just completely go through him, go past him, miss him, usually. And there's loads of people like that. Why the hell did that whiff? There's a couple of issues where grabs whiff. I mean, he was doing his Meismer. He's clearly on the floor. He can't be any more on the floor than that. But well, <laughs> well, you can, but still. There's a couple of things. Again, oh, he managed to block that. That was surprising. And I jumped way too early on that. I knew he was going for it, so I jumped. But you need to jump late if you want to avoid things. So, need to be careful. I'm going to try and... I don't know what I'm going to try and do. Just do... Oh, lows into overhead. I like that sort of stuff. But um, there's a couple of characters which that level 3 Venom thing affects. You've got Black Adam with his lightning shots. He'll hit his armor if he does one, which is weird because it's a projectile. If he does his EX, it hits three times and knocks you out of it instead of being invulnerable. And uh, Nightwing's um, staff projectiles, they hit this thing instead of actually going through. So there's just a couple of things where it's a bit weird. Uh, that was very bad of me. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that thing. Um, and he, he got me with it because Solomon Grundy's back three doesn't go very far, so... Have to be careful about that. Oh, good dodge. Now, I should have been more aware of that. You might be able to put armor on these. You can put armor on two interactables. I'm not sure about all of them. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to bait him to do another one so I can do it quickly. Like so. Ah, but he dodged it anyway, saw it. Okay, charge, charge. I could charge again, but he just keeps... This is a weird Solomon Grundu who just keeps walking backwards. And again, I'm trying to get him to do it so I can throw it out. And he pretty impressively dashed up to me. Solomon Grundy's got a good dash, uh, forward dash. And he stopped me using it, which is really good. So that kind of didn't go my way for whatever reason. But he started to move back a lot more than he used to. So now I'm adapting to him just <laughs> being a turtle Solomon Grundy, basically. And that that was pretty cool, ducking underneath me. Um, don't know if that was intended. Probably was. Now, because he keeps dashing back, I can just keep doing this charge move. I don't want to. But it's less risky because he's going to block it. Solomon Grundy probably has a hard time jumping over it, like you would other Banes, because you can jump over it, but he's a big character, so it's probably a lot more difficult. And that was a good backdash. You do become invincible. But it's very difficult to do. And, yeah, you can't keep doing that against Bane unless you're, like I've said, Black Adam, Nightwing, um, Green Lantern with his machine gun. For some reason, they don't count as projectiles or something. It's really confusing. Is he going to go for projectile? Oh, I don't mean projectile, I mean stage transition. And that's that was weird. I expected that to go through, and I think he did as well, because he didn't jump. Um, but I know... Yeah, okay, he got me through it there, because I expected him to do his trait, which that's why I jumped, basically. I should have jumped forward, maybe, because then I would have got out of the situation. But Solomon Grundy got a bit of a nerf as well. His trait is now clashable. It was always clashable on the first hit, if it was part of a combo. 
but now it's clashable all the way through, I believe. That's what it said. That's how I understood it. And my brother tried to clash it, and he couldn't, but was he doing it right? I don't know. But, yeah, apparently that's his debuff. Okay. My Venom ran out, which means this is going to do really miserable damage. 19 isn't too miserable, but um, that's obviously because it didn't run out until halfway through. I don't like it the way the Riddler hits you with a cane. That's um, very, <laughs> very small. It's not going to really do much, is it? Okay, got to get away from that. Again, he's going to try and zone me, so I immediately do the Venom. I should have stuck three on. Did I stick three on? Um, that would have killed him. Or done the EX. I think I failed on the EX, did I? I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Just dash forward, do the the uppercut, I'd call it, um, to chip damage him, basically. Okay, as you can see, I'm using his his dash. He's got really good back dash and forward dash. Oh, there's no reason to him to use the X unless he thought I was actually going to hit him. But if I was going to do anything out of wake up, it was probably going to be command grab or that uppercut type move where I leap into the air. Okay, that I keep doing that string, and that string is not safe in any shape or form. Um, and there, that was another example of grabs missing. They seem to do that strangely on recovery when moves are in recovery they miss it's it's a bit a bit weird but i've kind of got used to it uh, i class as me being in the air on that particular one so i always do the low overhead usually to start making them think oh i've got a block high and then you get in with another low so it's guaranteed to get in and then i go for the big damage and one of the main important ways that you play bane is not to slam your venom on to three and then start charging or trying to get into combos. You have to get into a combo before you use your Venom. Unless you're fighting, say, Deathstroke, where it's really hard to advance against the spamming gunshot Deathstroke, unless you've got three Venom. In which case, time it right, use three Venom, and then charge through his gunshot. Now, a good player will stop once he's... A good <laughs> enemy player will keep track of your Venom. And that's basically why I think a lot of people have trouble with Bane. Now, I was jumping over him because I feared Command Grab. Now he's done his trait, best thing is to just dash, he keeps jumping, dash underneath him. It's really simple, he has no no dash, Solomon Grundy doesn't, when he's in his trait for some reason. And uh, his walk speed is no greater, it's his jump that you need to be careful of. So stay on the ground and just dash back, he's run out of space, try and time a jump to dash underneath him. Like I did, and it worked out perfectly. That's how you want to deal with Solomon Grundy's super. Okay, tried to go for a little mix-up to begin with. Pretty good thing there. I'm trying to jump on his wake-up. I haven't had an anti-air from Solomon Grundy yet, but I have had wake-up EX trait. EX metered trait, like there, for example. That was a good use of it on an on a easily identifiable jump in. But he doesn't do the anti-air, which I found quite good with Solomon Grundy. Uh, I don't find it as good with Bane, for whatever reason. I know it's kind of the same, but I always sort of miss it, so I instead choose to opt for the uppercut type move with one piece of armor on it always. I don't do the uppercut move if I don't have armor on it. Okay, he's going for those. Uh, Got to make sure I stop using that 1-1-2. One, one, it's pretty bad. Okay, I can't clash this yet because I'm not down. But I have a lot of super meter. Um, okay, good. That was probably a smart move by him. Okay, I have one Venom, I'll charge, I could charge again. But he's, he's doing that walking back thing, so I'm jumping, I'm just going to grab him again. He doesn't seem to do anything when he's doing all these... Oh, how did that miss? Seriously, that was crazy. Okay, Solomon Grundy's got an excellent anti-air as well. I'm just trying to chip him down by doing these... I know I said I didn't usually do that uppercut move without Venom, but I was just trying to chip him down. At that particular time, I think I completely forgot about the debuff, which really makes chip damage negligible. I was waiting for that particular intractable so now I'm going to charge him charge him again because he, he doesn't seem to be doing much after I do so I think it's pretty difficult to to punish again as you can see dashing out dashing in Bane's got excellent dashes so that's exactly how you want to use him trying to wait for any swamp hands oh I missed an EX doesn't matter oh that's bad I'm in the air which is bad and I expected that to kill him because he still does take damage but what I failed to notice and now I'm taking so much damage really much. I don't know if this was level 3 but what I failed to notice is that I'd ran out of Venom when he did his super animation. When he'd done it I ran out of Venom so my chip damage against his armour would have killed him normally but it did no damage whatsoever at all. 
That's not even a word. <laughs> but I got with my super, which is actually, I think he could have escaped. Bane's super is not very good for punishing people. It misses on a lot of things, like Superman's. If you try and punish Superman's ultra with your ultra, you'll whiff because he starts floating down gently. Superman does, if you block it, so you can't punish it. So there's some Bane matches. I'm going to do loads more. I've only just got my recording software back, so I'm fired up. I've got, bank. I've got a week's holiday because I'm a, a teaching assistant, so I've got a half-term holiday. So hopefully we can get out loads of content and everyone's mega happy. Thank you for listening.